All right, it says we're live and we're going to try to do this now. So I have put up a post um, on my site and I want to show you one of the things about it. So when what we're trying to do is when you click on a part of the page, it's going to take you down to a lower part. Um, and I need to figure out why some of my headings over here aren't showing up. But this is a good example, like on an FAQ page, you click the question and it takes you down to the answer. And what I had to do was add in some spaces so it would show the answer, because otherwise, sometimes if you do the anchor text, like if you do it right around the actual question, when it jumps there, it will cut that off and show other text. And sometimes that can be confusing for people. So if you're doing this around an opt-in form, you want to be careful. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the part where if we click this, it takes us to a lower part of the page. And again, you can see kind of how this heading this sort of kind of cut off here. Here's another example. You click on the link and it takes you because that anchor text was hidden just before this and this. So what we do on our WordPress page, and I'm actually going to unlink this. Um, and I'm going to take this part out. So we click on the text button and we come over here and we're going to add the little carrot, the letter A, the word name. Make sure you put a space between the A and the name, an equal sign, a quotation mark, and I'm just going to put beta test, all one word, quotation mark, close carrot. Now, I'm also going to put, go on right here, so if I were to put it around that text and put like the close mark down here with the oops I messed up that nerd code let me try again so I don't confuse you all right carrot mark the little close symbol in that then what would happen if when I clicked it would hide all of this in between that and so it would show you starting right here instead of all of this so I want it to give us a little bit of space so that shows up. So I always just close mine together. And instead, you could put text in between these two, but I just put it together so it will show up a little bit later down here. I want you to hit update. Anytime you're doing your code on this text tab over here, I just like to go on and either save the draft or update what's posted because when you switch back and forth between text and visual, um, WordPress is a little moody and I've heard in the Gutenberg update that comes out later this year that that's going to be different, but we don't know. So if I put, so click, if you look, you can see that you've done it right because there's this little gray box that has a miniature little anchor here. So this is kind of where it's going to fast forward on the page to. So I'm just going to highlight this, go to our little paperclip link button, hit hashtag beta test, and hit enter, and now that's done. Okay. So when we come over here, I'm going to renew this page, refresh it from what I just did. So now I'm on the page and if I click this, it takes me down to that heading. Um, and another example here, and you can see it takes you on down. So you probably want to move that link up because I put it to the other part of the page. So basically what you need to know is go behind the scenes to the text tab, add in the caret a space name equals quotation marks, whatever you want this to be, quotation marks, the other side of the carrot, and then go on and put the, the closing bracket, save it, come back over to the visual tab, highlight whatever you want the link to be, and come over here and you're going to put in your hashtag and whatever that was. So I hope that helps. If it's confusing, let me know and I will post and explain.